everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today I'm going to show you one way to embellish a painting. Um, this was a swipe that we had done a while back. It may have been part of the Feral Family Fan Club challenge. We had a challenge every week for a while. I don't know if that's still going on. I haven't seen any posts on it. So if I've been missing them, I completely apologize. I just didn't know we were still doing it. Um, but today we're going to embellish this. Um, this embellishment will actually be um, with embossing. We're going to emboss this with some embossing powder. I haven't quite decided what colors we're going to use yet. What we're going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw on this one with a um, ranger brush, uh, like a brush pen. It's slow drying ink, so it gives us plenty of time to get the embossing powder on it and get it set. Uh, let me pull out some more powders here. I spent so much time picking the painting and picking what we're gonna do with it that I forgot to get all these powders out. Um, so here, let me get them in frame for you. Um, Um, what we do here, or what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to sure write the word love on the bottom of this painting where it's um, less cells and more blurred lines compared to the top. Um, and then we'll pour the embossing powder on it and then use the heat gun to set it. Um, I think we'll use this magenta pink embossing powder. I think that'll look good with them. So I'm going to get the rest out of the way and we'll get started here. It's been a little bit since I've done some brush lettering so this may not be my best effort here. But I will give it my all. Clean the brush off. And it is a clear pen so that makes it more challenging. Um, as you can see, you can't, <laughs> you can't see anything here. Um, so once we get this on here, hopefully I hit all the right spots. Um, they do have black pens. Um, I have one right here. It just was a bullet pen instead of a brush. So that's the reason why I didn't want to use that one. I definitely wanted the brush pen. So I sprinkled it on. I always have a clean piece of paper down to catch it so I can put it back. And hey, looky there. We did pretty good. There's only one little area I'm not too big of a fan on. The other thing I do keep handy, oh wait, we're not done. There we go. Is I do keep a paintbrush handy just so I can like dust away the extra, which there wasn't a whole lot. Let me see. There's a little part where that V and E connect that doesn't seem to be getting very much coverage. But I think we're going to just leave it as it is. I don't want to mess with it too much. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. Let me get this put back in here. I don't want to waste it. That's a lot of uh, powder to waste. And I always put this up before I start the next step because the next step is the heat gun and I don't want it to blow away. <laughs> so um, now let's get the heat gun out. I will um, mute this part of the video just because it is loud. Here, let me bring in for a close up real quick because that section where the pink is does kind of blend in. So hopefully it won't once it's set. But yeah, here we'll go with the heat gun. And I'll keep it zoomed in for this part just so you can watch it set. And um, this is a mat, so it won't be as um, noticeable whenever it sets. But you'll, I, I should be able to let you see it. If not, I'll let you know when I come back. <laughs> so here we go.
are back. Um, I had to kind of watch the painting instead of watching the camera. So hopefully you're able to see like whenever that um, embossing powder kind of solidifies. Um, and here we'll come in for a close up. It makes it really shiny. And then it kind of gives it a little bit extra to the painting. This is just a little six by six canvas, just so you know. Uh, so yeah, this is what I'm doing today for the most part. Um, I do have to seal some paintings just either with um, Minowax Polyacrylic or the um, Liquitex Varnish, a couple others that I've been trying. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give you a quick video of one th way that you can emboss or one way that you can embellish a painting. Um, we'll be doing some more of these types of videos coming up, so stay tuned. If there's anything you want to see specifically as to what to do to embellish or if you have an idea for me, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to help. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to the channel and do what makes you happy.